for the full chord. This isn't this isn't the Vinny selective four strings. Of well, there is certain, a way to do there things. is a way to yeah. do that. You know, there really is. You could when you want to build a big fat chord and you run out of fingers, you mm -hmm. eliminate the root and you eliminate the fifth. Oh, okay. That's a rule. And the reason why Again, is, again, uh, say the rule again. If you want to take a big, fat six-note chord, one, three, five, seven, nine, skip 11, 13, right? That's okay. six notes. Okay. One, three, five, seven, nine, wait, one, three, five, seven, nine, 13, seven notes. All right, that's, you don't even have enough strings on the guitar to do that. Okay. <laughs> All right, so how do you truncate the chord so it, 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 allows the essence of it to come through, mm -hmm. okay? So, um, oh, this is going to be hard. I haven't done this in a while. All right, so we want to eliminate some notes so we get a five-note chord at least, all right? So okay. the rule is you eliminate the, the root and the fifth. Eliminate root and fifth. Okay. Now, here's the reasoning. I've said this before. Maybe you don't remember, but the reasoning for this, this is part of a whole, by the way, this is part of an entire system I have of, of 20 G7 chords that can be morphed into any chord. Okay. All right. Using this system, it's it's uh, it's called the four note chord system. Right. All right. Uh, in any case, so why do you eliminate the root? Well, the default thought about it is that you know if you're playing with a band, someone's going to take that bass note root. Yeah. Right. Why do you eliminate the fifth? The the most when you hit a tone, right? The harmonic that rings the most uh, blatantly, the most clearly and loudly off of that note is the fifth. So if the bass player is going to take the root, and by the way, bass in itself is very rich in harmonics, so you, the, the fifth you can almost hear. Oh, is that right? Okay. Yeah, if you, took, if you went to a piano just hit a note and listened very closely, you, that over time? you can hear the fifth. You really can. Oh, okay. All right, well, I'm getting deaf. Does that happen but, vocally as well? Yeah, it's a, it's a law. I mean, it's a law of music. However, the higher you go, the less... Um, audible the oh, okay. are. Okay. So, you know, if you're in basso, then you, you can really, really start to hear them. Yeah. And by the way, you know, the Tibetan kind of multi-voice chanting, that's really not multi-voice. It's just a harmonic rings. Oh. It actually rings through your skull. I've done this before. Oh. You, know, you can hear the harmonic. You Basically, the I can't... It's like you do it with, a, with an ohm sound as the classical, right? Mm -hmm. And when you say the ohm, you point your tongue to the roof of your mouth, and if you if you kind of move your tongue around, you can move the harmonics around. It's really wild. Ah. It has to be a really low. Is that like tubing throat singing or something? Or? Well, I don't know if you hear it, but it's kind of like a jaw is, is the tongue doing a vibrato? No, no. It's just I was just moving it around to see if I could oh, find the sweet okay. spots for the okay. for the harmonics. All right. All right. So I'm putting you to sleep here? No, no, no. Problem, no, no, no. <laughs> All right, so where, where do we leave off? So uh, that was, what we're doing here is, say, in a folk setting, if you really want to embellish your chords and make them real pretty, mm. without doing weird alternative tunings. Right. All right. Oh, but let me roll back. You were asking about how to truncate a chord. So you eliminate the root and the fifth. All right, so I want, let me see if I can do this. This is going to be really hard. Here's a C major 13, so I'm going to get rid of the root, so I don't have, let me just look at the notes here, C, E, A, D, G, B, so E, A, D, B, yeah, so this is not a voicing for it, I'm going to find one, E, A, D, I don't know, E, A, D, E, A, B, D. That's a bad one. That's nearly impossible to do. Um, D, D, A, B, e, and B. All right, I can't do this right now. Uh, let me see. Well, maybe I could do it in another area. Um, B, wait, B, D, A, finger twisters. There are ways to do it. Let me see if I could. Yeah. I have uh, See, this is requiring a lot of thought. I mean, I could sit oh, down sure. and... Oh, sure. No, no, no. I, 
I have this system of 20 different G7 chords with a set of rules, and, and uh, let's see, all right, let me try it again. All right, so I get uh, a G7 here, I make it major seven, and now I want the nine and the 13. I can't get the root clear. Oh, okay. All right. So if we have that, we have the root and the fifth there, okay. where I'm pointing and actually hitting the note. Well, that would be the whole chord. Okay. Right? So, in other words, now I'm looking at four notes here, none of which would contain have the root of the fifth. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's how you get jazz voicings. I mean, that's oh, really it. Is. it. Oh, okay. You know? Huh. And when, when you play solo guitar and do this, you don't have a bass player doing the root, so it gets really kind of vague and abstract, which is kind of pretty. Oh, okay. You know? Um, okay, so...